today we are going to discuss what is dimension, what is property, and what is member. These three things. What we discussed yesterday, yesterday we created one environment which is uh, water. Then we, we went to, we, we, we just created uh, a model. Okay? There are two types of models. One is reporting type model. Another one is uh, drivers and rates model. We created reporting type standard model. We discussed what is data entry mode and we selected the periodic for our data entry mode. And we added some dimensions in the sales model. We selected category and entity as secure dimensions. Now, next thing is what is dimension? Yeah, we have to understand what is dimension. Dimension basically stores the master data. Clear? Dimension basically stores the master data. Dimension is equivalent to characteristic in BW. Right? So BW, BW characteristic. In ECC, when you compare with the SAP ECC, then you can compare with the fields like company code field, GL account field, currency field. All these are uh, called as dimensions here in BPC. There are two types of dimensions. One is flat dimension. Flat dimension in the sense that particular dimension is not having any hierarchy. For example, if you see version, okay, version dimension will have some uh, master data like actual, plan, all this. These members are not in a hierarchical format. These members are not in hierarchical, hierarchical format in the version dimension. That type of dimensions are called as flat dimension. So, hierarchy will not be there. The second one is Hierarchical dimension. Suppose if you take cost center, if you take profit center, if you take product, all these are all these dimensions will have some hierarchy. Right? That is hierarchy one or hierarchy. You can have multiple hierarchies or single hierarchy. These are called as hierarchical dimensions. types of flat one is hierarchical dimension. Let's see how this particular dimension in BPC. For example, I want to create a dimension called WBSL or cost center. Yeah, I want to create a dimension called cost center. Let's create this dimension. When you are creating a dimension, give me one second. Right. Now, let's see how to create a dimension. Go to the, uh, we have to go to the BPC admin. You know, right, uh, the opening is, you have to click on the link. It is going to prompt for the user ID and password. Just give the user ID and password. Now, go to planning and consolidation administration. Click on dimension. Now click on new here. Just give cost center. So before creating the dimension, you have to check whether the particular dimension is available in the existing dimensions or not. Right? If you see account, audit trail, category, entity, all are there. But cost center is not there. Yeah? So cost center. Description also, cost center. Now, down to this, something is there called type. What is this? What are the types available? Account, category, audit, entity, group, intercompany, currency, subtables, and type. These are the dimensions available. Dimension types. Now, what is the dimension? What is dimension type? 
based on the dimension type okay the dimension behavior the dimension behavior is controlled by dimension type that means suppose if i am creating a dimension called cost element okay so cost element behavior is account behavior so the type will be account a uh, when i am creating a dimension called company right i am creating a dimension called company the behavior is entity behavior so i have to select entity e i am creating a dimension called inter company the behavior is uh, trading partner behavior then you have to select inter company i i am creating a dimension called transaction currency then you have to create currency r right now i am creating a dimension called cost center cost center is not account dimension not uh, group dimension intercompany dimension currency dimension or whatever it can be a entity dimension it otherwise it will be a user defined dimension i am not going to select as entity dimension because already i have one dimension okay i have already in my sales model i already added suppose entity dimension in one model i can add one account dimension one entity dimension one category dimension one time dimension i cannot add multiple entity dimensions multiple account dimensions in one model only single dimension is allowed so here i am selecting user defined now click on create now it is creating a dimension it takes a few seconds basically to create the dimension once the dimension is created you can add properties you can add members okay now we have to understand what is property what is member properties are basically attributes attributes in the sense suppose if you take cost center for the cost center company code is the attribute cost center is the attribute business area is the cost uh, business area is the attribute right for the cost center dimension company code business area profit center all these are attribute right attribute is equal to property anyway we are going to come there now once i create this particular dimension here structure of the dimension cost center it's a user defined dimension now you have one table for properties one table for hierarchy and you have one hyperlink here members of the dimension right now i can add property right now we have to understand what is property see this uh, this page explains what is property suppose i have one account dimension called 1 100 100 which is salary account i have a dimension called account dimension so when i have one account called 100 100 which is salary account 100 100 is the id salary account. so what is the account type for this salary salary account type is expense it's an expense account if i am if i am talking about sales account the account type will be income now whether this particular salary account is a balance sheet account or pnl account it's a pnl account what is the description of 100 100 it is salary when you are doing currency translation what rate type we are using average rate so for the account dimension what are the properties account type is a property bs or pl is a property description is a property rate type is a property right when you create one uh, when you create 
dimension automatically some properties will be added system will add some properties uh, those are called automatic properties again automatic properties two types hidden properties visible properties what are these visible properties if you see i have created this particular cost center dimension automatically i can see one property scaling this is called visible property there will be some hidden properties like calculation hir all this i will show that one right so there are two will two types of properties automatic properties will be added one is hidden property another one is visible property hidden properties are like calc hierarchy all this visible properties are scaling visible properties are based on the dimension type suppose if you add account type okay the visible properties will be scaling account type rate type all this right now let's add one more property here for cost center so cost center i am adding a property called profit center profit center profit center what is the length of the profit center let's say 10 digits 10 digits 20 uh, 20 digits whatever you can give till until like 60 digits okay now i have added a profit uh, profit center as a property now click on save it is adding the properties when system is adding the properties it takes some time at least uh, one minute it takes so once the property is added we can add the master data in this particular dimension members cost center dimension what are members members are basically master data in bw master data is nothing but in bpc members in ecc master data is nothing but in bpc members members are equivalent to master data so profit center is added settings are saved i want to add some uh, members now click on members of dimension click on members of dimension here just add no cc no cost center no cost center you can add any member data actually this member data will be loaded from bw save and process when you click on save and process you are getting a message do you want to take the environment off offline means when system is processing this one this particular environment is not available for the end user so the front end is not available for the end user if you select s okay it will be offline if you select no it is not offline and you can work so dimension has been processed no cc added same way you can add some more cost centers here let's say all cost centers. all cost centers now i want to add some cost centers dlr cost center hyderabad cost center right so bangalore hyderabad now click on save and process now dimension has been dimension has been processed close now what is the dimension we created we created a dimension called cost center if you click on this link you can see the uh, members close it now i want to it is a flat dimension now cost center is a flat dimension how can i say it's a flat, flat dimension because hierarchy is not involved suppose profit center what is the profit center for this particular hyderabad i can maintain the uh, attribute value 
let's say south profit center or uh, profit center is xyz or 100 1000 bengaluru profit center is 1000 let's say click on save and process so you can maintain the property values like this now it's called as flat dimension because hierarchy is not involved how to add hierarchy in this particular dimension so close it now i am going to add an hierarchy to this cost center dimension click on cost center click on edit structure so when you are selecting cost center select uh, the description click on edit structure you you can add the hierarchies here click on add here just write cc underscore h i e r click on save now setting saved and it is giving a warning message what is this message the change made on dimension cost center requires you process it okay we have to click on save and process to click, uh, click on save and process you have to click on members of the dimension click on save and process no right so basically when you create a dimension i'm going to see now you can see the hierarchy cc underscore hr right so what is the hierarchy for blr at hyderabad it comes under let's say all cost center so give like this control v control v so for bengaluru and hyderabad nodes are all cc's now click on save and process Now you can see the hierarchy. All cost center. And are all cost centers, Bangalore and Hyderabad. So this is the way we, we create the hierarchy. Now you want to understand what happened in the back end. Right? So back end means what? Back end means BW. Just connect to the BW system, SAP log on pad, click on this SAP log on pad. How to connect him to connect the BW system? In the logon pad, there will be a server, BW server. Select the BI. Click on logon. Give the username here. Password. Go to a transaction code called RSA1. RSA1. So select info provider from the left side, click on this find icon, what is our uh, environment VADA, click on search, now you can see VADA phone here. So as I said VADA phone is my environment, it's created as an info area, it is called an info area. The symbol is info area symbol. Now expand this. Now you have one model called sales. How this model came, you have created, right? We have created, uh, we created yesterday, same model came here. Now we have taken, uh, created cost center, cost center mod, uh, dimension came here. So cost center is created as a info object or uh, characteristic in the back end. Now right click on this cost center, right click on this cost center, click on display. Now automatically system added some master data see some tables are created some text table is created it added some hierarchy it added some attribute if you go to attributes as, as, i mean i said right there are some automatic properties hierarchy hir and calculated member flag these are automatic uh, hidden properties you can see only in the back end 
you cannot see in the BPC front end. I mean BPC application. Scaling you can see in the BPC application. Profit center we added. You can observe one thing here. For everything, the technical name is starting with slash ppmb slash in the back end. So remember, and system is proposing some uh, automatic name, automatic technical name for this. So for every object in BW, I mean BPC, when it's created in the BW, it will be created with slash ppmb slash. The technical name starts with slash ppmb slash. Now, we have added some master data, right? That will be stored as uh, members. We added some members. Those will be stored in the uh, stored as master data. If you go, uh, go to maintain, click on maintain, then you can see the members. Whatever Bengaluru, Hyderabad, we added. So just execute. Here you can see. All cost center uh, calculated member or not calculated member? Yes, it's a calculated member. First, all PC is a node. Bengaluru base member. Not a calculated number. And the attribute value is added. Property value is added. This is the description. And it is uh, H1 hierarchy. Why H1 hierarchy? If you go here, go to the structure. What is the name? So H1 is If you add one more hierarchy, that will be parent H2. That will be H2. Yeah. So this is the master data. What about the hierarchy? Just select two times back arrow. If you go to hierarchy, click on maintain hierarchies. Same hierarchy is parent H1. Double click on this parent H1. Now you can see the hierarchy here. All cost centers, Bengaluru and Hyderabad. So, Today we discussed what is dimension, what is property. The day four session, I mean tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, we will have session after two days. After two days we will have session. Today I am going, I am traveling so that's why I am closing uh, a bit early. After two days we are going to have the session. That means uh, India, according to India, it will be 6th. India, 6th, uh, 6th May, right? India, 6th May, 6.30 a.m. For U.S., 6th May, 9 p.m. PST. Yeah, same meeting request. Same meeting request. Day yes. 4 session, we are going to discuss. Day 4 session, we are going to discuss. If we have time, we will start EPM adding. Yeah. This is uh, next day's uh, agenda. Today, we discuss this thing. What is dimension? Dimension is uh, basically equivalent to characteristic. It stores the master data. Master data is called as member. Properties are nothing but the attributes. Properties are nothing but particular the dimensions. Particular dimension. Yeah. Any question? Yeah. Any question? Uh, hi, Kiran. I have a question. This is yeah. uh, yeah. When we created this environment dimension, we saw in the like BBC backend SAP GUI. Mm -hmm. Like after mm -hmm. it was created, can we create all of this in the SAP GUI as well? Like how we did it in the NetWeaver front end? Yeah, good can question. We do actually, that? good question. Actually. The the best practice. The, the best practice. Just mute yourself, sir. It's okay. Yeah. The the SAP best practice is uh, you never create anything dimension property or anything in the backend, right? So we are not supposed to create uh, in the backend. Whatever you want, you have to create it in BPC. We are. That's why I said like uh, for the BPC consultant, whatever BW knowledge is. Some extent required, like what, how to see, how to view the master data, how to view the transaction data, all this stuff, right? We are going to handle with DPC only. 
if i want to add some attribute in the dimension so i have to add it in the bpc that will automatically reflect in uh, bpc okay and one more thing if you add what happens if you add something in bw what happens it won't reflect in bpc that will be available only in bw yeah because it will it will not the technical name will not be slash cpmb slash if you add it in bw you got my point you cannot uh, create an object with slash yeah. cpmb slash yeah. you cannot uh, create an object with slash cpmb slash yeah my question was like for even for bpc there are two guis right like one is the netweaver and one is the scp gui or just netweaver is the interface where we can do all this creating environment adding models dimension okay we adding okay. models and dimension adding models and dimension this yellow flag yellow flag this is this application okay. this is yellow flag it is yellow flag Okay, so this is the only uh, place we can do it. Not on the like SAP GUI like how we have. No, you are not uh, supposed so to do. No, you are not supposed to do it here. Okay, we cannot do it here. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions? Uh, okay, Kiran, this is uh, Gaurav. Uh, yeah, Gaurav. Uh, I have a question. Uh, the master data uh, actually right now you manually added the attributes and the and the data to that. So how does uh, we have to do manually? We have to add the data in there, or how it be how the master will be filled up? Yeah, uh, we are going to load the data from BW or some platform. That we are going to discuss after two three days. Not two three days. It five five or seven days. We are going to discuss how to load. Okay. 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 Thank you. Yeah, Kiran. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Yeah, uh, this uh, when you created the cause the uh, attributes of this cost center, I mm. see some are uh, display and some are navigation. So Correct. I mean, there is something specific in BPC where you can dis um, no, no, say no. this is the display and this is navigation. Automatically system create. System automatically okay. see whatever properties you are adding manually. those will be navigational at 